Hey there! Today we're going to review a pen. Uh, really? Yes, really. Uh, made by Online. Online is a German company and if you go to Germany, you enter a department store, something with a, a stationary a stationary section, uh, you're probably going to find Online. At least that's my experience. Uh, they, they cater uh, to school children. I was pausing for a second because in Germany it's still obligatory for children to use a fountain pen in school, but you cannot use any fountain pen. There's a list of pens that is accepted as far as I know, and I don't actually know if these are on there, but it's clear they, they cater, cater to school children. Uh, but the nice thing about online is that they are very affordable, but also that they have nib options that are kind of hard to find on other brands, especially for this price. So, I was in Nuremberg a couple of months ago at a big stationery expo. Online was there and they gave us a couple of pens and said, do them as you like. So I thought I would review them. This model, the college, has been around for a bit uh, because I remember seeing these in shops, but this is a whole new finish. And that's another nice thing about online. They make a lot of finishes of their pens. So you can find all kinds of colors and different, uh, uh, what do you call that? Different ways they're put together, etc. So you can definitely have some fun with that. The college. We're going to cover the parts of the pen, tell I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the pen. Nothing. Clip. Online. And it even says Germany too. Online Germany. Simple clip. Clip is plastic. Uh, so yeah, that means that if I do my best, you can see how this is already bending. I can definitely snap this off with one finger, but that's okay. Clip works well. Now we have the cap. Very cute. It looks a bit like the suit I wore at the uh, Tilbury Pen Show. See Instagram. Um, I like it. It's it's very bright. It's very colorful. Simple, plastic, end piece. Uh, it's not a blind cap because it doesn't come off. As you can see, it's simple. You know, simple pens, a lot of plastic, pretty much all plastic except for the nib. Cap does post, not extremely securely, but secure enough to use this posted as you write. And it's a nice size too, even unposted. Super light, of course, because it's all plastic. Section, whoops, wrong side around. Section, kind of rubberized material. I don't know, it's some type of rubber, I think. And then you have a nib, and yes, that is a 1.4 millimeter sort of stub. It's not a super sharp metallic, it's more like a stub. No tipping, that's it. Plastic feed, nib is in the pen fairly deeply, uh, and, and that's pretty much all there's to it. Now notice that there, an ink window. Uh, and it kind of works. Right now it's a little hard to see because I'm using a converter that has a metal uh, little thing there. Uh, but if you were to use a cartridge, then you would be able to see sort of the... the, the I have one here, easier to show you. Cartridges have that nipple and you would be able to see about the, the actual nipple. So you can see how much ink is left as you write. And on the pen this caliber I would say that's very impressive because I don't know if a lot of cartridge converter pens that have ink windows, but this does. So, standard international short, standard international long. You can use a short and then use a second uh, short cartridge in there or an international long or just a standard international converter. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Let's start with what I like. It's simple, but I'll tell you a secret. It writes. This is a 1.4 millimeter italic slash stub, I would say, nib. So a broad nib. So a lot of ink demand. And it writes. It does not run dry very quickly. Which is quite impressive. It's plastic. There's nothing fancy about this. There's no super special titanium hardware. There's nothing. It's just simple plastic. And I'm not even sure if this body is not just some type of sticker they put on there, because I've just scratched off a bunch of the finish, okay? So you're not actually talking about something that is of tremendously overwhelming, uh, I'm not going to say quality, because I do actually think the writing quality is there. It's a simple pen. 
So this is probably not something you're going to pass on to your grandchildren one day. But it's a good everyday writer. And if someone stands on this, who cares? Another thing that I really like, not only does the nib write properly, but you get a bunch of nibs to choose from. You may have to look around in shops a bit, but you can find them in extra fine, fine medium. This is a 1.4 millimeter. I've also seen 1.1 millimeters. There's even a special nib for left-handers. So there is a bunch of nib options available that you don't find on that many pens. I cannot list from the top of my head a brand a pen maker that actually has 1.4 millimeter stubs easily available just like that so I know they are there but you know just saying it's interesting also it's not an Iridium Point Germany nib it actually is stamped online and 1.4 millimeters so it's not just a stock nib they put on there I mean they, they actually have their nibs I like it now I'll tell you the best part it's five euros in Germany. Five euros. That's not even ten dollars. It's around five dollars, something along that line. That's insane. For a pen like this, 1.4 millimeter metallic, this is a great pen to practice calligraphy with, for example. Five euros. I think is an absolute bargain for what this is. With an ink window, with a nib that works, with a wide range of nib options. Yes, it's simple. Yes, you can scratch off the finish. Who cares? Five euros. Okay. What do I not like about it? Well, pretty much everything I just said. It's plastic, it feels cheap, the finish scratches off. Yeah, it's all true. Of course, those are also downsides, obviously. Another thing... Yeah, you get the point. Uh, converter can come out, in this case has come out, but even if it is in there securely, You hear that rattle around a bit, and just for the record, it is still in there. So, there is that. Um, is that a big deal? Not necessarily. It just rattles around a bit. I, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, beyond that, there's not really anything I can see. So, I would say, okay, um, yeah, there's a finish. Uh, you know, it, it may come off. Uh, yes, it's plasticky. Yes, the clip will snap off. And you know what? five euros you buy another one so let's not worry about that too much final question because I know someone is going to ask can you convert this to an eyedropper filled pen well it looks to me like this is one solid piece of plastic uh, I haven't tried it but if you put in liquid a solid piece of plastic then there's no reason you can't there's no metal on the inside a bit of silicon grease on those uh, threads they're fairly large threads you put a nice bit of grease between that I'm fairly certain that may work, provided that this is one piece. And I, uh, it looks like it on the inside. I think it's just, um, um, what do you call that, injection molded. So, probably. Having said all that, I think it's neat. Online, thank you for giving me this pen. I appreciate it. We're going to see how it writes next. High resolution pictures of the pen, as well as uh, measurements of the pen, will be on the website, sbbrown.com. Hope this was useful so far. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Hey boys and girls, so here we go with the online college with 1.4 millimeter, I would say, stub and the ink is um, uh, the Sailor uh, um, Apricot which is discontinued, I know, I know it's nice, etc. Okay, one thing that I notice with this nib is that it's really smooth uh, and that what I mean by that is Italic nibs often have pretty sharp corners cut into the paper But this nib doesn't which means that you may sacrifice a bit of line variation but What you get in return for that is very nice smoothness the fast writing It's interesting that even such a wide nib keeps up pretty well with uh, fast writing like that. Wetness is actually pretty high and of course there is natural line variation because of the stub shape of the nib but under pressure it is steel and it's not the hardest of steels at that. You can definitely squeeze out some extra line variation. If you really want to you can even do reverse writing but it's not very pretty and with an italic or a stub it doesn't really matter that much which way around you use it. 
So I think what you have here is actually a, uh, a very useful, cute little pen, uh, which may not be the prettiest pen you've ever seen, but that definitely delivers, especially with this 1.4 millimeter italic, because as you can see here, that's actually a calligraphic nib you can do some pretty fun stuff with. So, thank you to online for giving me this pen, I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.